How's it going shoppers? Today we're gonna be back at the OG market, back where I used to do Costco every single day. The only reason I'm back over here, well, number one, content, and then number two, I was at Ikea and it just so happens to be over here. So we're gonna see how fast we can make $100 and then go home. Right now, I'm at the Sam's Club, and if I don't get anything here soon, within the next like 20 minutes, I'm probably gonna head over to Costco where someone got a $117 order today for only 17 items. So anyways, guys, as soon as we get an order, I'll let you know, and hopefully we can get in and out of here really fast and go back home. All right, guys, so it's been about 40 minutes. After getting nothing at the Spark Drop, I decided to come over here at Costco. So you guys might uh, recognize this parking lot. I really haven't been seeing too many Costco orders, and without Diamond Cart, I just don't know if I even stand a chance. So I'm probably gonna go on the Costco, go grab some energy drinks, and then uh, maybe start heading my way back to the town where I actually live because I gotta make some money. This is kind of disappointing, but I think it was worth a shot. So maybe I'll get something while I'm in the store. We'll see. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a little. All right, guys, so we finally got an order. We had to drive all the way back to where I live and um, we got a $18 shopping order for seven items and I believe it was seven to eight miles. So not too bad. I'm gonna go get this done and then hopefully we can get into a little groove here and start making some money because we have some uh, time to make up for. All right guys, the shop went smooth. We were in and out of there and I believe five minutes in total. So I'm really happy with that. We do have a 17 minute drive ahead of us. So we're gonna miss the next round robin, but I don't really mind that because that kind of increases my chances of getting a shopping order later. And I need a few big shopping orders to make up for today's slowness. Just happy to be on the board today at $18. All right guys, so we sat here for only about 15 minutes and we just got a $25 shopping order. We're in that shopping order queue today, so I'm taking that money. That's gonna put us really close to, I believe, $45. I'm doing the math right, a little under, 43. I'm happy with that. We're making some money. We're at least paying for all the gas money that we uh, spent driving all the way to Costco for no reason. All right guys, so we just finished the shop. Took us probably about 15 minutes. I had some problems with an item, it was diapers, never had a kid, so that's all kind of confusing. Luckily, we have our Discord server, so when I run into problems like this, I throw it up on our Discord server. People that have more experience with diapers can help chime in and let me know what's a good replacement and what not to choose. So uh, thank you, Discord server, and that just might be a good reason for you guys to join sometime. It's actually pretty helpful when you guys are out there working and you need some advice. Anyways, eight minute drive to go drop this off. All right, so we just got back to our favorite spot, Walmart, and we just got a little uh, $15 shopping order, one mile away, nine items. It's not the best, it's easy. And I really don't wanna like sit around. I've already sat around plenty today. So we're gonna do this. Let's do some math and see where that puts us for the day. So that'll put us at a whopping $58 for the day. And then uh, maybe one more $20 order and we'll just call it quits because I got places to be. And I'm not trying to be lazy and just take the easy way out today. I actually have stuff that I have to get done at the house. So I gotta do what I gotta do and we'll just get as close to that $100 mark as possible. All right, so we're back. It took us about 10 minutes. That is the order. Everything went pretty smooth. Only downside was they did not have the spaghetti noodles that this lady wanted. And I'm pretty sure they selected no replacements because it did not even give me the option to replace it with like another brand that was extremely similar. So I guess they're not getting any spaghetti noodles tonight. Started to feel kind of bad. And then I just remembered that this was a no tipper. So I think we're doing just fine. All right guys, so we got back right after the round robin. I got sent this for my round robin and there was no possible way I would even consider it. It was 12 cases of water. Yeah, that was a hard pass. Anyways, we're basically at 60 bucks. A good $30 order would be perfect. So we're gonna be sitting here for a minute. 
hopefully getting another shopping order real soon or maybe even an instacart i'm right next to an heb so that's a possibility too but for some reason it seems to be kind of slow with instacart right now all right guys so we sat for i think about another 40 minutes and uh, we ended up taking a 33 dollars instacart order and it's one customer like 17 items it's super simple it looks like knock on wood so i'm pretty happy with that it wasn't at the heb i was near so i'm kind of confused how i even got this order because it's pretty good it must be like a repeat customer after this we should be at 91 dollars, and we're gonna call today and go home we've been out here for about six hours so not the best hourly rate right there All right guys, so that shop was all right. We had to refund quite a few items because everyone's drinking tea here in Texas right now. So there's not too much to choose from. So we're gonna see where this order actually ends up at. I'm gonna guess $31 with all the refunds. Anyways, the good news is it's only a five minute drop off. So we're gonna get this done and then we're gonna be right next to the road to take me home. We're finally gonna go home. Seven hours of work and $90 later. Yeah, don't do the math on that one, it's bad. All right guys, so we just got back home after a very long day. We made about $90 in eight hours. Not even gonna tell you my hourly rate because I personally don't even wanna know. This is not normal for me. If it was, I would definitely be doing something else. Just so you know, just wanna throw that out there just in case any of you guys were in the middle of typing a comment like you need to go get a real job. I'm doing fine. Anyways, pretty happy to be back home after a very long day. And I think uh, my dog is happy that I'm home as well. Look at her being all good and such as soon as I pull out the camera. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, Cookie, what do you have to say? No, don't eat it. No, 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 it's expensive. <laughs> She's freaked out. <laughs>